Hello, my soccer universe. Later than I expected, I'm reacting to the draw. Um, however, the good news is I've been working yesterday on installing a new uh, mobile internet here. So that might be paying off uh, very, very, very soon with getting a better internet connection. Uh, also, um, unfortunately, I wanted to include some calculations already in this video. It's not quite working out yet. Uh, had to switch uh, to a different platform, so um, I, the code needs some adjusting, and yeah, it's it's a little bit annoying. But you know, take it step by step. Uh, the draw, and maybe later today, uh, afternoon, evening, you will get uh, actually uh, how it now stands in terms of probabilities. Now, before we go into the draw, uh, UEFA also made some decisions on uh, uh, the Russian and Ukrainian teams, as I hear. Battles around Kiev are erupting, uh, as a cold swing, let's put it that way. Um, first off, the Russian Ukrainian teams have to play for now on neutral ground, which is something that, of course, uh, affected Spartak Moscow uh, the most. I don't think we have a Ukrainian team uh, left in the competition, uh, but it might uh, be valid for the uh, playoffs for the World Cup. And, of course, the Champions League final has been moved to Paris. Um, honestly, I'm, uh, it's probably the uh, more severe sanctions have been yet um, held back because one wants to see and you know how, uh, how if, if there are any more regulations coming. I was a little bit, bit surprised teeny bit, not too, too, too much, but I that uh, Spartak Moscow have a team excluded from the competition and, you know, about the Russian national team, we got to see. I'm not sure if that actually is the right decision to take um, in a way, but, you know, we have, uh, whatever it is. Let's talk draw. Much happier stuff. And we'll start with the Europa League draw. Here it is in all its glory. See the pots up and uh, the draw down. I gotta, I gotta say, the first uh, couple were kind of, yeah, <laughs> nice, but not really exciting with uh, Germanis Vesta and uh, Rangers and Monaco against Braga. Um, the second one clearly has a, a favorite with Monaco. The, up, uh, up, the upper one, I think, is a little bit more in the balance, although Germanis Vesta has been uh, slipping in the league, so I would favor Rangers. Then we have the first big one with Lyon against Porto, and whatever you wanna say, yes, Lyon is maybe the big, maybe the bigger name or the bigger league. I don't think Lyon is a bigger name than Porto. Porto is the favorite here. And then we have the first real clash between Leverkusen and Atalanta. That Boing is one that could be really, really exciting. Uh, the way both teams tend to play, I think this is a really, really great draw. Um, uh, as is West Ham against Sevilla, I feel a little bit uh, sad for West Ham because Sevilla is one of those pesky opponents that you want to have. I don't expect these two play as great games as we have uh, between uh, Le Leverkusen and Atalanta. I think Leverkusen and At Atalanta, those are two teams that go full on. That's going to be fun to watch. Uh, West Ham against Sevilla, yeah, mm -hmm, I would say Sevilla. Then, of course, who will get uh, Barcelona was the other big story of the draw. Yeah, it's Galatasaray. Yeah, uh, the big names avoided uh, Barcelona, so it was clear of all at, at this point or, or, or already. And yeah, Barcelona probably is quite happy with, with the draw. And then Leipzig has to play against Spartak Moscow and Frankfurt against Betis. Um, I would say Leipzig, really good. Eintracht Frankfurt against Betis. Yeah, uh, it, it, this is for me up there with Juventus Vestal Rangers. Um, both teams can play very well. This could be a very fun tie, but both teams are definitely not favorites uh, to win the Europa League. Okay, let's go to the Europa League. And, you know, I'm wearing gloves because, you know, Lask uh, is, of course, in that draw. Uh, and I could watch that draw. I was rather annoyed by it, but then I said, okay. See the result lay, later. Let's play with the, in, the internet. Uh, I gotta say there are a few interesting ones. Basel against Marseille uh, is a sleeper. I, I would say, of course, Marseille are favorites. Rennes against Leicester. That's a big one because uh, those two teams have been for a long time. Uh, and, you know, have been for uh, you know over the winter break 
among yeah. the top teams to qual to qualify the rent did already uh spurs a little bit so um not so bad uh my friends from park are playing against Ghent. um or Ghent? i always get i think it's Ghent. but i'm i'm i'm, I'm not 100 percent of that uh tough to roll but i think it is also doable uh you know belgian teams you never know what was what, what you're gonna get uh roma has to play against vitesse that is interesting i would say because uh we saw now vitesse is a team that it gets molds by the big names in the dutch league i'm not sure roma can do that Roma is, the, is, is very much a mixed bag. Uh, Copenhagen against PSV, also Denmark against uh, the Netherlands, kind of second teams could be tightish, but PSV should have more qualified here. Then last plays against Slavia Praha. The positive is it's not far, far, far away, but I think this is a uh, this is exactly this middle zone. It is not a draw where you think Lask has a good chance and it is maybe not a super mo it's not like a super most attractive opponent although i have to say slavia Praha, it's not far away i think this will get some people um especially for the fans don't have a long term i mean Prague is probably a little bit more than three hours uh north of here pretty much exactly north uh of here so in that sense it's a nice draw but i am not sure it's one it's a tough one it is really a then we've had Zed against Bodo. Uh, no idea who's going to. Bodo is really going, uh, going, going, going well. And then Feyenoord against Partizan is also um, a rather interesting one. As I said, not the big uh, names as we had in the Europa League, but we knew that from ahead. But I have to say that when I look at uh, uh, Rennes against Leicester, we are losing at least one uh, big nation uh, from the Europa League. And we have other draws, we like the last against Slavia. Uh, where a smaller nation will actually make it to the quarterfinal, which I think is exciting. So yeah, that was it for me for the draw. As I said, I'm planning to come back with some extra probabilities and chances how the draw uh, all changed. I don't have those calculations yet ready, but I will update you on that one hopefully soon. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!